All right, this morning we're going to continue our series fast in Management Studio, Slow in the Application Part 2, and the rest of this is private. So one quick note to, to make, <clears throat> and that is that, uh, and recently there was a question on Stack Exchange about this, uh, one of the problems with this is sometimes it's completely unrelated to a lot of what we would think of as being upper-level troubleshooting, and we face this at the company I currently work at uh, multiple times where we think it's X, and it's really much simpler. So let's get the simple idea, or the simple problem, I should say, out of the way. What happens when it has nothing to do with the application, but it really has to do with blocking? And some people won't explore blocking right away. So I've set up an example where I've, I've created a block. Right here, I'm reading from a table block. I've set the transaction isolation level, read committed. And I have a transaction over here. Um, Got to get to that window where we have um, where we have blocking going on, and it's begin trend, and you see I'm inserting the blog a million times. I'm sorry, block a million times, um, selecting the value of dogs. So because there's no commit transaction here, this is just going to be an open transaction. Uh, in fact, you can see actually it's completed, but there's no commit tran. So the other transaction. Uh, cannot figure out what's going on at this present time. So, if it's blocking, what it may appear to be is that it's fast in Management Studio, slow in the application, not really. Actually what it is is those were executed differently. And I'll give you an example of the environment that this will generally happen. If your .NET or application developers do not have Management Studio on their computers, what will happen is, and this happened at our company, is they'll contact us and say, oh my gosh, this query is taking forever to run. Then we'll go to Management Studio, open it up, execute the query, and it's immediate. And we're like, well, we don't see the problem. Well, that was because there was a transaction going on when they were running it. And one of our developers actually came in at a very different time than the rest of us. And so what happened was is that there were other transactions going on when he was doing work. Well, then by the time we came in, we didn't see those same issues. So we were kind of speaking past each other. My suggestion is that technically everybody on your team, especially if you're a big company, so we had no excuse, everybody on your team, your .NET developers, um, your application developers in general, should have access to Management Studio as well. That way they can go check uh, in Management Studio. This would solve this problem, but in our case it didn't. So it was something very simple, but we made it more complicated than it was. We did all this troubleshooting. Um, there was also a question on Stack Overflow recently. I think it was Stack Exchange or the Database Exchange, and there was someone who had a similar problem. Sometimes it takes two minutes, sometimes it takes three, sometimes it's immediate, and again, it was blocking. So these are this blocking is where I would actually start first, um, especially if you're on a team where your your application developers have no access to Management Studio. It could be that. So what you want to do is say, "Hey, execute that query, and I'm going to look." So do it and then, you know, starting at 3 o'clock and I'm going to look at 3 o'clock and go from there. That way you know you can eliminate this process right off the bat. Okay, it's not blocking. It must be something related to that.